Welcome to the Outrageous Retirement Lifestyle Podcast Series. We're closing your mind to conventional wisdom, discovering your perfect day, and challenging the aging process with every fiber in your body. Can give you the retirement lifestyle your neighbors will talk about. Ralph Carlson with Ralph Carlson Blog here, and we're continuing our video series on the Plan, Do, Check, and Adjust cycle. Uh, we're using this to make changes in our life, change our lifestyle, um, whatever whatever we might find we need to do to make uh, to make our life better. And we've done the plan, we've taken some action, we've checked that action, we've measured measured our accomplishments. Now we're going to use all of what we've learned in those first three steps and go back and revise our plan to go through a second iteration. It's the iterations that's the powerful piece of the PDCA cycle. So what are we going to do? Well, first we're going to look at our goals and see if they need to be revised. Um, many times you learn something as you go through the plan. Uh, maybe your goal wasn't targeted quite the way that, uh, that you thought it was. Maybe um, you uh, initially thought of it as one way uh, or as one aspect of, of of your goal and then going through the plan you found out nah, I really want it uh, a little bit different I want to change some things about uh, what I'm doing where I'm planning to go uh, because of what I've learned in it uh, sometimes you just set the goals uh, wrong because you didn't know any better uh, sometimes you won't know how much work you're able to do and you'll set it you'll set a goal that's way more than you could possibly accomplish uh, that could be discouraging. So when you go back and revise your goals, you want to set it uh, at, uh, at a level that pushes you but doesn't, doesn't overwhelm you. Likewise, you don't want to make it too easy because if it's too easy, then uh, uh, you do it, you kind of give up and, and, and lose your momentum. So you need to go back and revise those goals when you're going forward again. You want to look at the activity level that you, uh, uh, that you had. How much time did you dedicate to uh, the tasks that you had, uh, is it the right amount of time? Uh, did you uh, develop some skills going along through the first iteration that means that uh, it won't take you nearly as long to accomplish some pieces uh, the second time around as it did, uh, did the first? Does that free you up to add some other tasks that maybe, you know, maybe can move you along faster uh, or help you in some other way? Uh, or do you just need to allocate the time differently and put it into some other task that maybe takes longer and, and uh, uh, you know you haven't been able to make uh, you know to make any improvements in, in efficiencies? So look at your time, look at how much time you're allocating, where you're putting the tasks, and uh, go back and revise your plan for that. Uh, how has your attitude been, and what have you been doing to maintain a positive attitude going through? Uh, have you been associating with positive people? Have you cut out the negative in your life? Have you cut uh, off ties as much as you can with negative people? Uh, have you stayed away from negative media? Uh, what have you done to you know to put positive in? Have you read you know Have you read books that inspire you? Have you uh, listened to people that uh, uh, are are wise and positive and, and skillful in the things that you're trying to you're trying to make your life be? Uh, do all those things. Uh, at this point, if you've got a mentor, um, this is where the mentor is invaluable because you need someone that's, that's objective, somebody that knows the path and, and can help you maybe steer you away from some things that uh, in your ignorance you might, you might do and think you're, you know, you're doing good. So uh, if you have a mentor, be sure and use a mentor. If you don't have a mentor, you might take a little bit of time and see if there's someone that you can ask to be a mentor. Somebody that has the fruit on the tree that you're, that you're looking to get for yourself, someone that you admire, someone you respect, someone you think knows the ropes, um, and ask them if they can dedicate a little bit of time to help you go through and, uh, and revise your goals and help you monitor your progress. Um, it never hurts to ask people. Many times uh, these are the people that, that may just not have the time to be able to help you, but uh, sometimes you can ask them and maybe they can suggest other alternatives or other people that might, that might be willing to help you or other, other ways.
ways to do it. So those are the things that, that you want to be doing and you want to go back then and revise your plan. And so we're going to go through this process again with your revised plan. And each time we do it, uh, we're going to get better at, uh, at what we're doing. We're going to get closer to our goal and uh, we're going to develop our skills. So use the plan, do, check, adjust process in your life. You know, we're talking about making life changes here. Uh, but the things that, that aren't working right for you, the plan, do, check, adjust cycle is a wonderful tool to do that. So use it in your life.